Hey, how's it going? Hey, Max, how are you? Hey man, how are you? <clears throat> so, um, we're waiting for Dirty Radio to come into the chat. And I just sent him a message. <laughs> hey Saule, hey Anel, how are you? What are you guys up to? <clears throat> hey, Martin. <laughs> there they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no worries. Hey guys, how are you doing? I can't hear you. Yes, I can hear you now. There you go. Man, so so good to finally meet you guys. Yeah, man. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm I'm just at a uh, at a friend's birthday party, so we just set everything up, and later we're gonna have a little celebration and stuff. What about you? Uh, we just got to the studio. Um, mm -hmm. starting the day for us, it's, it's, uh, usually we get to the studio around noon, so this is like, uh, a little bit early. Uh, yeah, an <laughs> early one. Yeah, you guys are based in Vancouver, right? Yeah, we're from Vancouver, Canada. I'm Shaddy, by the way, this is, this is Waspy. What's up, man? Uh, so good to meet you. I'm Chris. Like, I think, I feel like we've spoken for, for a couple of years, maybe, or at least, you know, maybe yeah. two or three years. Yeah, so. Right now. On Instagram, on, on Facebook, and on, I think so. Yeah, we've just kind of been corresponding back and yeah. forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much for for being my guest this month. I really in, enjoy your uh, your mix. Oh, thank you. Yeah, man, it's uh, it was our pleasure to to work together. Hey, Are going you? Ah, yeah. oh, you got some friends in the chat. Yeah, people are coming through. Ah, oh, lovely. Pretty at Lee. <clears throat> uh, Zach's actually um, he he uh, he's not feeling the best today. He's uh, he's a little sick, but he looks great though for being sick, aren't you? Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You said you're at your friend's party right now. You're at a birthday party. Uh, yeah, we just slowly starting because um, I live in London now, and you need like literally forty to one hour, you know, to get anywhere. So I said, I'm going to be a bit early and, and speak with you guys. And then we're going to do a little celebration. And tomorrow I'm leaving to Germany. So I have to get up at like 4.30 in the morning or something. So it's going to be um, a slow night for me. Crazy. Well, hey, tell them we say happy birthday. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah nice. I will do that. We're uh, planning to come to Germany soon, I think, in the new year. So hope maybe, maybe we'll see you at some point in that, in that, on that trip. Yeah, man. Where do you guys want to go? Well, we want to, we just want to get the hell out of Canada. <laughs> really? Wanna, yeah. Yeah, we want to come to, uh, we want to come to Europe. Um, mm -hmm. We're working on getting our visa right now for the U.S. To go down okay, and play. Sick. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we pretty much just, I mean, Canada is great, but in mm -hmm. terms of the population and how many people are here for the kind of music we make, um, yeah. it's not the most lucrative place to be, so we're trying to, yeah. you know, get out and, like, mm -hmm as many places as we can besides here yeah yeah nice i think you guys should definitely come to to london i think that would be amazing yeah man yeah absolutely. that's definitely that's that's for sure one of the spots we want to we want to pop sure. by want to do london yeah. berlin I have to, you know uh maybe. lovely do you have any time time frame in mind or just like literally some sometime next spring or something um well we so our our new record is going to come out um mm -hmm. in the early year so basically once that drops we're hopefully going to be on the road as much as possible playing as many shows as we can so yeah man i mean yeah. that's all well, just all 2019 
the mm-hmm. fact of playing shows and like promoting the yeah. record. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, amazing, man. Collaborating on a song with Shawn Mendes. I mean, if Shawn Mendes wanted to do hey, a song, why not? Shot, <laughs> mm-hmm. For sure. Nice. Who would who would be your favorite collaboration? Like um like one that you really would love to do, and which one that would be really fun to do? Um, oh man, there's so many, so many collabs that would be fun to do. I mean, both both of us growing up really love Pharrell. I mean, yeah, that Pharrell. Oh man, <laughs> me me too. But Pharrell yeah. isn't really. And, and I don't now, know. I don't know. I no. Now I feel like if you get mm-hmm. well, we Corral apparently only works in the morning now at like five thirty in the morning. Like you get yes, do it like five thirty, and it's down by like three p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Because he just got triplets or something, right? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. I read the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, if we were in L.A. and he was down, that would be fun. Um, we'd love to work with Disclosure. I think that'd be mm-hmm. really cool. Uh, yeah. SG, SG Lewis would be fucking super sick. Super uh, yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we did. We actually just met him uh, a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago. Played here in Vancouver, so that was cool. Uh, Tomish yeah. is great. You know, the usual yeah, suspect. Tomish, cool. Tomish uh, is amazing. Yeah. yeah we, hey man, we want to collab with you. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yes, man. I want to work with you guys too. Like, um, what would be the best way to go about it? Just like ex- go back and forth on some some track ideas and stuff, or. Yeah. Send, just send us beats. We're usually we're usually pretty chill about mm-hmm. it. Like, I mean, um, yeah. If, if you send us something and you know we're inspired, we'll just throw down some yeah. vocals and send it back. To you. Yeah. How do you guys normally work? So, um, because w- one of you guys does the main vocals, right? Yeah. Yeah, I say yeah. I do the top mm-hmm. one. Um, usually he'll 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 produce a beat and then we'll kind of sit yeah. around. Let's all kind of jump on keyboard, play, you know, mm-hmm. whatever else, pick samples, and then I'll go into booth and I'll yeah. just come up with ideas and melodies, and then we'll sit around and write lyrics. Ah, uh, sick. So, so how do you guys spend a normal week? You go to the studio every day to, to finish new stuff, or, or how do you like to go about your, well, your kind of like your daily thing? It's been kind of different recently just because um, we mm-hmm. finished our so we kind of, instead of doing the studio every single day and just constantly mm-hmm. doing it went into like, you know, doing art and like photos and like strategizing like the actual record and that whole thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, usually if we're in album mode, we're pretty much in here like mm-hmm. 12 hours a day, just making beats, writing. Yeah. yeah. As good as possible. But yeah, man, I mean, mm-hmm. the, the thing for us is we just want to, I think, I think you get like addicted to just writing better and better songs. So you mm-hmm. create a he thinks amazing and then like a day later you're like all right let's do another one that's better than that you know what i mean exactly yeah this is something also i've noticed this year like sometimes instead of finishing songs you might as well do a new one and then sometimes it instantly clicks you know you know what i mean yeah yeah, totally. yeah. you know I, I love the routine of of being in the studio let's say three to four sessions a week and, and just getting the songs out you know yeah yeah, definitely. I mean, I, it's a problem for us, though, because we have so many half-finished mm-hmm. um, ideas, right? But, yeah. but, like, the record that's coming out is, um, it's 16 tracks. So nice. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of like a big album for us. Like, it, we've been working on it yeah. for the last bit. And, mm-hmm. then, uh, and then we got a few more collabs happening. We just did some really good collabs with uh, Hood Boy. From- Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we did a collab with uh, Prom Night. So that whole athletics crew, they're really dope. So yeah, man. Just, sick. Yeah. You know, just like keep going and, and uh, keep pushing and try and work with as many people that inspire us as possible pretty much. Yeah, I think it's it's so amazing how, how you know, like these artists you guys, you've mentioned and the ones that have been a guest on my mixtape series, like these are literally, it's basically the same universe, isn't it? I think that's so amazing. Yeah, man. Well, and, and for us, it was hard. At Everyone first. knows each other. Right? Yeah. 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 But, but for us, it was hard at first because, like, especially, you know, being in Canada, like, it's mm-hmm. almost like I feel, um, like, a bit segregated from everybody because, you know, there's yeah. not a lot, a lot of people here that are doing the same style of music that we're doing. Yeah. But I, or they moved away. Like, you know, Padlock's kind of kind of L.A. Yeah, or, or, or if they're mm-hmm. or they move. But, um, but, yeah, for us, I think, like, especially in the last year and a bit, um, just with mm-hmm. Black like working with like just kidding and young franco and like you know just like a, a lot of different people it's sort of been able to establish mm-hmm. us in like universe you say in so yeah 
show, man. It's been like a really dope adventure up until now, and we just want to keep going and keep pushing it, you know? Yeah, I think that's so amazing. And the same what you just you what you just said like here in london um you know Ja funk used to live here so him just kidding and pastel we used to hang out a lot together but now he had to move back to australia but um the same when i went to la i met all these guys like hood boy and prom night and padlock and I've, i think it's amazing what they have got going on there also the party pupils and stuff yeah, so yeah, yeah. they do some cool stuff they're yeah. blowing up Never got him. We never met him, but I'm a fan of our other stuff. And Max is the singer from Party Peoples, right? Mm -hmm. He's like super. Uh, yeah, I think I met a guy called Ryan. I only met one. Yeah. Yeah, he's. I think he's the producer, and then Max is the top. Well, we're gonna see those guys in a couple weeks. I'm DJing with those dudes. Party People? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So it's a few weeks from now, because I'm going mm -hmm. with those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your um, release strategy for the whole album? Because I feel like sometimes, you know, to release 16 songs at once, it can be a bit overwhelming almost, you know? Are you going to release them like one a day or one a week or is it going to be a, a full project? No, it's it's coming out all at the same time. But basically, um, mm -hmm. we have a collab coming out in, uh, sorry, I was going to say September, in January. Then we have another mm -hmm. collab with a guy named Darlin coming out in... Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, he wants like, with... Uh... Oh, with Crescent. Crescent. So, Shout yeah. out Crescent. He's in so, the chat here yeah, yeah, somewhere. Yeah. So, so, pop uh, up. so we have a collab. That's like a local collab. These uh, these homies of ours from here. So that'll be cool. Mm -hmm. And then February, um, we're doing a track with a guy named Darlin. Who, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I heard his name as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, so we got a track coming out with him. And then... There's Crescent. Um, Crescent. Shout out Crescent right there. And then March, <laughs> we have a single, which will be like the lead up to the record. And then the record will come out at the end of March. And then basically, uh, yeah. just a lot of promotion online i think like we've, we've mm -hmm. been able to do, uh art for every track on the record so we're gonna have mm -hmm. like a peak that we're highlighting through our instagram and a whole bunch of you know pushes like yeah. that so and also shout out chrome destroyer who did all the art for the album which looks amazing so we're really excited to like start pushing all that stuff out but i don't know man like mm -hmm. it's one of those things where the record comes out like I don't know if we're gonna really see how how successful it's gonna be until like a year goes by, you know, until like we yeah. like, the songs have like had a chance to just like marinate and do their thing. Mm -hmm. and, like we don't even know what people are gonna respond to yet, right? It might exactly, yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know. We're just excited to get it out there and like, yeah, it's it's been a it's been a, a process and a journey, and we just kind of want to mm -hmm. share how people feel about it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Shout out Toronto in the house. Dude. It's a yo, it's a good workout record, by the way. You can just put it on and go to the gym, and it's like. Do you all have any collabs coming up? Yeah, we got a bunch. We just uh, one with Crescent in January. Shout out Crescent, and we got one with Darlin. We just put out one with uh, with uh, Giuliano Raskan. Is it enough? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you know, at some point, I'm sure we'll get a collab with Fabish. You know. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I also just did a song with Petlock. Yeah, I, th I think we still have to finish it, and my next one is coming out in January together with the Essen Shuffle. Oh, dope. um, we're leasing back on the Magicians label, so I'm really happy about that. So, man, oh, yeah. Magician would be cool to yeah, call. That, yeah. That, yeah, man. Yeah. Sure, man. He's dope. Yeah. Is it banger? Uh, yeah, Magician's great. Fuck, he's killing it. Yeah. What about yeah, nice. What What have you been listening? to? recently like what kind of music are you really into right now um honestly like all these <laughs> artists that you've mentioned and besides that i'm really enjoying like disco at the moment and let's say like real house music from around 2006 7 8 cool you know like um bob sinclair and lauren wolf and you know like old Xwell stuff i really like that at the moment cool yeah man i love disco like especially um mm -hmm. old well, we're listening, or do you know, like, Joey Negro, or, like, uh... Like yes, yeah. Kind of Man, stuff. these compilations are so good, yeah. Yeah, so good. Well, and even, I don't know if you listen to, like, the old Head Candy compilations, like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you go to the Game Festival, and they used to have those parties yeah, in Toledo. Like, that's yeah, not, that's so fun to DJ. In Mexico. It's just, like, really good Exactly. And I remember when I was a kid, um, we used to have even Head Candy Nights back in Germany, in, in Munich, at the club called, at the Pasha in Munich. Mm. And the other day I was in Brighton and they had a head candy club there. 
but it looked like so ran down. I guess it's closed now. You know, like I feel it's time for a revival of that sound. They were on top of the world at one point, like with just the, the shit they were doing, and then it just kind of all disintegrated. Well, it's just, it's just yeah. like, like everything. It just like moves on, right? But yeah, yeah. That, stuff, that stuff is so fun to play, and it's just like the best mm -hmm. vibe. Exactly. And I feel like this is something I would like to explore with my music for next year to really bring the sound we do up again to like a 124 kind of vibe, you know, BPM wise. Uh, so you can really play it like a prime time set or something. So, well, yeah, a lot of that stuff too is like 128 even, you know, like it's like, yeah. Like yeah, for sure. But Maybe this is an idea for us to, to work on something like that. Oh, there you go. Head Kenny got it got bought by Ministry of Sound. I uh, don't even know that. Yeah, I know. Uh, hey, th thanks for that. Whoever that's wrote that, that's dope. Yeah, Ministry of Sound. I mean, yeah, but even Ministry of Sound. Like, oh, yo, the, oh that's Baron. Shout out. What's up, man? Oh, it's Baron? Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> Baron. <laughs> Everybody goes to Brazil. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Carter. I thought you were to Brazil. Yeah, definitely. But, um, you know, it'd be fun to make a track like that, man. Like, that sort of, um, sort of it, revival tip would be really high. Piano? Yeah. Piano y? Or, or yeah. like. Like, you know, the live bass? Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, Fred like Falk. Fred Falk. Fred Falk would be a fucking dope collab, man. Yeah, oh, Fred yes. Falk. Yeah, Rack. on that kind of vibe. Hey, shout out to everybody who's joining and uh, listening and uh, listening to us talk nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have access to the question that the people asked on the Instagram? Oh, yeah. I can't. I got to. How do we. I can't leave this, though. I oh, wait, exactly. Yeah. yeah. We need a second phone or something. <laughs> Let's answer the questions people ask on Instagram. Mm -hmm. okay. We both we didn't try to wear pink today, but it just happened. It just happened. This, yeah. is the anti -bullying. this is the official anti-bullying color. It says okay, so can we get a Nickelback feature? <laughs> mm. uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to Chad though. Chad Kruger. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, when can we get the album? That's gonna be coming out mm. of March. March. Yeah. 16 songs. A lot of music to digest. Panthers mm -hmm. Lane. Yes. It will be coming up on Spotify. It'll definitely be on Spotify. Um, How do you feel about Spotify, by the way? Um, I think at one point I was a bit worried because it almost seems like a gatekeeper, you know, with um, the way the curators choose who's on the playlist. But apparently it's, it's becoming more and more AI based. So you just released a song, and if people like it, it, it goes up the playlist. Yeah. Apparently, it's, that's the way it's heading to. I think that's amazing if you, if you are able to release a lot of music, you know. Otherwise, it's a bit, you know, yeah. But I think it's a good thing, actually. Yeah, but that, now, now they got these streaming camps. Have you, have you heard of those streaming farms where people are going to China? And, uh, and they yeah. Up cell phones, streaming music 24-7, seven days a week, constantly. And that's how they're, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's crazy. I, I wish I could like send a link so people could see it. It's like rooms mm -hmm. of. I mean, it, it's wow. weird to me. Spotify is now. It seems like the biggest, you know, music streaming service that everyone's connecting mm -hmm. through. But mm -hmm. I feel like on a on an interface level, like it's kind of lacking. Like like you can't leave mm -hmm. content. You can't exactly. Like, and you know what I mean. Like you can't really like the the way that SoundCloud was cool, where you actually felt like you had a. a people yeah lacking that right so I think exactly yeah i feel like that's where i've met most of you guys you know like um that's how i met just kidding and yeah. you know Char funk all through yeah. soundcloud really i think that's yeah that's missing now yeah and and i mean it's crazy when i even think about like soundcloud a lot of people we know on it like their numbers have decreased so much but exactly of, on an actual like linking level like it's still really important because i feel like you mm -hmm. can send to somebody on SoundCloud and they'll actually respond to you, right? Yeah. And and also what I really liked, I felt, you know, as a bathroom producer, you could just do your own little remix or, you know, flip a track and, and get it on there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't even know, like, how should I get this sample cleared? How can I get it on Spotify? You know, it's it's less spontaneous almost, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so I think... Someone asked, what's your favorite copy of music? Each one of you. Well, we kind of already said that. Mm -hmm. Saying he was saying he likes disco stuff right now. Exactly. My, uh, Sade. Sade is your favorite music of all yeah. time. Yeah. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Like into. Uh, oh man, I'm all over the place, dude. I, I'll listen to like fucking old R&B records, and I'll listen to like Johnny Cash, and I'll listen to like fucking 
I don't know. Is it Random Rock Records? Right now, oh, you know what song I'm like obsessed with mm -hmm. right now? I keep listening to it. I really like that that Cascade song that's out right now. The new one? Yeah. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. I should yeah. check it out. I really, I really dig that song. I've been fucking blasting it. It's it's a little weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? We're, we're from Vancouver. Yeah, like um, the stuff I really like, same as you guys, um, I love Pharrell's stuff. You know, when yeah. it's getting a bit colder, I like some Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah, but that's it mainly. Sinatra's great. Um, so one of the questions says, what challenges do you face with music? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, challenges with music, let's see. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Um, music challenges with music. Um, to me, the challenges aren't necessarily like with music itself, like making music, like the fun, easy part. It's all the stuff after. It's like promoting it and like making sure people hear it and like mm -hmm. being excited about it six months later after you've sent it to like five labels and no one wants to fuck with it. And you know what I mean? Like that's like yeah. Music. Whoa, this is yeah. Crazy. Pretty dark over there. Um, there we go. Let's do it this way. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, I can see us better. We're like blown out. Yeah, that's nice. That's better. Hi guys. What's the next question, Waspy? Um, next question we got is where's Tones? He's where is he? Where's Tones? Yeah. Oh, so, uh, so, okay, so, we'll so anybody who doesn't know, so Tones is the third member of Dirty Radio, and. Mm. And he is um, probably the most important member in terms of keeping everything happening. Like he, um, okay. Well, we all run a business together. He's like one of the main. Um, I would say one of the main. Yes, we love pop music. One of, of the course. main reasons we're still mm -hmm. doing. It. Like Anthony's mm -hmm. like really kept all this shit together. Like he's obviously an awesome musician. He's a really great mixer. All the dirty radio tracks that you hear, he mixes. So nice. All the track in Ableton, make the beats, we'll all like work together. And then once we have the entire song all produced and ready to go, I'll give it to Anthony, I'll stem everything out, and then mm -hmm. he'll make the track in Pro Tools. And uh, he also mixes all of Shaddy's vocals. So anytime mm -hmm. you listen to the Kelly Crockson vocal thing, he's yeah, done yeah. some he's, big, big records. Yeah, he's doing some big records. He also, he works with a, a friend of ours named Stint in uh, Los Angeles, who's produced like Sabrina Claudio and a whole bunch of other cool artists. And so, um, anyways, yeah, uh, Anthony is a really dope person that we're super lucky to get to work with. And he is right now not here. <laughs> Someone just asked a question for Chris. Uh, yeah. Chris. If I'm coming back to the main score festival, um, I really hope so. Like, I really had a good time last year there. It's in, it's in the middle of France. But um, I don't know yet. Like, I guess they announced the, the, all the guys that are playing around May or June. So... I hope to see you there, yeah. But I, I don't know yet, to be honest. So, yeah, but thanks for asking. I have a question. Please ask me. It's really good. What's your All question? right, let's go. Question. Heart, 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 My question is, do you like chicken hearts? No. I, I, I can answer um, I can answer another one. Another here. one, yeah, from Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, what inspired the lyrics of True Love? True Love is a song we did. We did that actually... in California. We were driving in California. Actually, we wrote that on a on a beat. We were we just left mm -hmm. a, a meeting at a Interscope Interscope in L.A. and mm -hmm. one of the ARs sent us a bunch of bunch of music. I think it was some deep think stuff and a bunch of other shit to write to. And then we were kind of driving in California on the highway and we're like, no, nah, we're not digging this. And then we kind of just started to started to just write True Love. The top the, the mm -hmm. hook just came and. Uh, I don't know. It was nice and sunny outside. Palm trees everywhere. We're driving down fucking L.A. from San... Was it San Diego to L.A. or L.A. to San Diego? I can't remember. Somewhere. And it's just like... I don't know. That song, that song just came. It just came. The melodies just came. It was like quick. That's probably the the more popular song that we put out. In the it's it's crazy, man. The, the weird thing... I don't know if this... Mm -hmm. You've True noticed this, but like... It's all I need. I, like, uh, to me, all the songs that I thought were like the coolest songs we put out... Mm -hmm. The ones that were like my personal favorites, I felt like didn't really get hit. But then all the ones that I was like, eh, this one's sort of more like on the like mainstream side. Those, those are all the ones that got like way more plays than any other song. So like, yeah, so people like pop music, bro. I get, yeah, but with, this has always been like this, this like conflict with me, right? Like personally, mm -hmm. because I 
all the dopest stuff we make is the stuff that doesn't necessarily like connect as well. So I don't know if yeah. it's been like that, you know, stuff that you personally are like into more that you make doesn't really like hit as much, I guess. Yeah. I, like, I love pop music. Mm -hmm. I grew up listening to a lot of pop. Uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, originally when we started Dirty Radio, we said we wanted to make pop cool. We wanted to make cool pop music, not like cheesy yeah. pop music. And that's where it all stemmed from. Like originally when we started out, it was like four of us and we had, it was like a live band. Mm -hmm. We had live drums, mm -hmm. live band, keyboard. Mm -hmm. Like it evolved so much from when we first started, like musically, the direction, yeah. the imagery, everything about it. Like how we are live on stage, you know? Now it's like when we play live, it's just him and I. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's got DDJs, I got Tim Bally's keyboards. It's kind of like a live, it's, it's a live thing. You know, it's, yeah. it's very like Disclosure or or Cosmos Midnight, like those guys, those guys are fucking dope as hell. Like, oh yeah. yeah, I also made a song with them. I love them, so yeah. Yeah, you get a song with them? yeah I hope it's coming out next week. We still have to finish it. But um, cool. yeah, I'm really excited about it, so. Yeah, they, they, uh, they mixed our, mm -hmm. uh, our collab with Young Franco, Drop Your Love. They didn't want to mix yeah. it. I love yeah. that stuff. That was yeah. a really good record. Yeah. yeah, that was so good. Amazing. I want to do that with them. <laughs> the question? Uh, did you know Ground Shake was a hit when you first heard it? <laughs> Ground Shake. Ground Shake. Ground Shake's probably the first song we we put out that um, online like created a mm -hmm. bunch of. I, I don't want to say it was like viral, but it was like a lot of kids were making videos to it. Nice. Like, it just. What, was this know. planned or it just happened? It no, just happened. it was like totally nice. beyond control. Like had nothing to do with us. And then it was no. I think mm -hmm. Ellen was having a contest. No, that was a different thing though, because it got used for some girl made like an Ellen video, and then but it's not that. Remember, there was all these kids. Gen X Pen, that's who did it. Gen X Pen did a video. She's like mm -hmm. this YouTube girl. She heard the song and like did this video, and she's like, "Everybody do it!" And then people just started doing the wow. video. And yeah, like, got like I don't know, half a million hits in like a week or some stupid crazy thing like that. And mm -hmm. then it got added across the country here on radio, and it did its thing. But, ah, uh, sick. And power he, power he of YouTube. Doesn't even like to play it anymore live. Oh, it's so it's so poppy now, man. When you listen mm -hmm. back to it, it's one twenty six. What is this? It's guys, I need to prove my brother wrong. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, so different than what we make now. But people still ask for it when we play live. Play ground shake. No. Yeah. And yeah. Just, there's, a, there's a spot up the coast called Haida Gwaii. It's mm -hmm. like a really incredible island that's like super secluded. Has like um. Hi, Ned Perrin. How are you? Anyways, we when we played it there, it was like they they asked us. We played it twice. Like mm -hmm. they, oh it nice, crazy. I I couldn't believe it. I was like, what the hell? Anyways, yeah, it's, it, that's what I'm saying. You, the internet decides. You can't choose what's gonna do well. You know. Yeah, I feel like this Chris. is almost my my intention now when I make music just to have fun and then you know get it out there, right? Yeah, yeah. Like you don't, you never even know. Even even um, we did this song that came out recently with uh, Mike Mega. Mike, mm -hmm. Mike, yeah, mm -hmm. I pronounced his name wrong. Anyways, came out on spin. Oh, yo, we're back. Are we back? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so we did this this track, and we, I, I swear to God, like he came up with the top line in like, I don't know, an hour. We wrote the track in like another hour. We literally flipped this track in like the a morning, and then sent it back. Yeah. He was like, hating on it. I wasn't hating on it. I was just like, okay, well, that was, you know, it was what it was. Like, it just, we did it quick and it was what it was. Mm -hmm. And then, like, what, three or four months? And then Spin and signed it. And now it's got, like, almost seven million hits. Like, yeah, I, uh, that, like, it just, shit just happens, you know? The internet just... Does, internet, like Prom Night says, internet is... The internet is God. Yeah. Besides, the, uh, it's, that's, that's what matters. Yeah, man. So, I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's just, it's weird. That's I think I, I I once signed a record to to Sony in Germany, and literally when I made the record, I was trying to do it as simple as possible. You know, I think it's quite interesting. <laughs> like maybe you should try that as well. Like keep it as simple as possible. Yeah, well, that that's usually we what, what I'm always like make it less syllables. Yeah, mm -hmm, you always mm -hmm, want to. I want to have a lot of melodies. I want to have a lot of layers. I love doing like a lot of my har like harmonies and layers. And yeah, you want to be a single vocal. I want to stack it all. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then, you get, then you get the best of like what everyone wants, right? Which is usually like a pretty good, a pretty good. Yeah. Album. 
I also read this about um, Charlie Puth. Apparently, he was like way jazzier than now, mm. and he kind of switched up, and now he wants to go back to his to his roots. So I think that's that's an interesting way to math. Yeah, made him a bajillion dollars. He can go do whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, he had to go get make that pop music and get massive. But yeah, no, that's actually a really mm -hmm. good point. Like jazzier, mm -hmm. like when you're talking about like creating music that for whatever reason reaches like mainstream levels of success or like, yeah. kind of, like, I don't know why, like sevenths, ninths, like all those cool jazz chords, they don't mm -hmm. translate off for some reason. Like I, it's, it's weird. Yeah. It's like, you think that people would be more open to hearing that kind of stuff. Cause I love that shit. Like that's what I, that's mm -hmm. probably my favorite aspect of, um, you know, R and B and like, um, I don't know, even looking at, like we were talking about Pharrell, like all the old Neptune stuff, like I love those chords, but for some yeah. reason on scale, on like a mainstream level, that stuff doesn't really translate. You know, like you don't really hear that stuff mm -hmm. on the radio. Yeah. But if that's why I think if you can somehow make it work and like mm -hmm. sneak that stuff in, like that's the coolest thing you can do, you know? So it sort of references it, but it's not like too much in that, you know, in that yeah. style or whatever. Like, I must say, like, I think, the closest stuff right now is is maybe Ariana Grande, you know. I feel like some of her songs are really good and really like jazzy almost, but then they get into this massive drop or something, you know. But I think I it's, I it's I really good pop music. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next. Thank you. Next. Yeah, I haven't heard the record. Uh, yet. I'll check it out. Daniel Caesar's dope. Hers dope. Mm -hmm. wow. That yeah. two feet kid. Two feet. Have you heard of him? Two feet. Yeah. Two yeah. Feet. Yeah. 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 It's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's so much music out there, man. You literally go on Spotify and it's like so much music. Sometimes yeah. it's, so, it's like, fuck, how do you? Yeah. I, know, I wanted to ask you, actually, I mean, we don't have to do this right now, but um, there's a mm -hmm. couple mix made where I noticed you didn't have the track list, but I'm like, Shazam. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, you just let me know which ones you like and um, I will I will send them to you. Okay, done. Yeah, done. yeah. <laughs> nice. You're very welcome. If I say, uh, can you love me, Ned, then I'll get 20 euros. If you get 20 euros, you got to send me fucking half of that, bro. You get 20? Let's, if let's, I let's say, say, if like I say, enough. we love you, Ned Perrin. We, we love, love you, Ned Perrin. Give that 20. Get that money. Get that money. Um, all right, nice. Well, that was a nice, that was a nice chat. Yeah, man. Man, amazing. Um, let's be in touch. After Christmas, I wish you a wonderful time. Yeah, man, you too. And really awesome getting to know you guys a bit. And thanks to the guys for, for tuning in. So, What are you drinking tonight at the birthday party? Uh, some malted wine. Is this a big thing in Canada? or Malted wine? I've never heard mm -hmm. of it. I drink tequila. I don't drink tequila. I'm in... <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, um, it's, it's warm like a tea, but it's quite good. Oh, okay. I like I mm -hmm. like ice wine. I feel I think I've heard of yeah. it. Warm wine. I feel like that's yeah. kind of... It's like waiting... big on the, the no Christmas waiting... markets. Oh, still waiting for the future with Slovak. Slovak. Ah, uh, yeah, I would love that as well. And I'll... Let's see if we can make it happen next year. <laughs> uh, that'd be a good feature. Yeah, man, please. <laughs> We'd love to collab. I think it'd be super fun. Yeah, me too. I'll I'll be in touch, and hopefully we can even hit the studio together in the next year. You know, in in real life, that would be amazing. Absolutely. We're gonna what, get to Europe. Yeah, we're gonna come see you in Europe. Yeah. So nice, boys. Have a good have a good day. Yeah, and speak soon. <laughs> Thanks for allowing. Bye, guys. To jump on your mix, man. It was fun. Yeah. We'll yeah. Thank Thank you, guys. Bye, bye. Okay, right. brother. Peace. Mm -hmm.